Men, welcome. Glad you're here. I appreciate you taking the time to invest in yourself. It's going to be well worth it. I'm so excited for what I get to share with you today about how you can get healthier than you've ever been. Uh, here's what I'm promising you today. You can get back that six-pack that you maybe had when you were 17. You can actually feel and function better now, whether you're 40, 50, or 60, than you did when you were in your 20s. Yes, you can feel and function better than you did back then. And certainly in the next three months, we can show you how to take 10 years off of how you feel right now. So there's some exciting things ahead for you. Quickly, let me just tell you who I am, then we'll get right into the presentation and uh, the meat of what you're looking forward to learning. So here's a before and after shot of myself. You can see there from the numbers that um, I lost 10% body fat while gaining 20 pounds. Uh, this is a five-year difference between those two photos, but the actual transition took less than six months. And I can show you how to do that. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm here for. So that and lots of, lots more. So, so let's get after it. Today you're gonna learn exactly why your workouts aren't working, exactly why what you're eating isn't doing it for you, and why you still don't have the body that you want and the vitality that you know you deserve. Here's a problem. Actually, the problem isn't even what you think it is. Uh, the problem doesn't have a whole lot to do with how you eat or work out. It has mostly to do with a factor that no one really knows anything about. Well, I shouldn't say no one, but uh, most people have no clue about this. Yet it's the most critical thing to you getting healthy and fit and buff. So why are people clueless? Well, the medical industry really doesn't understand it or teach it in general. There are exceptions, me being one of them. And the fitness industry doesn't really get it either. So it's not, it's not really common knowledge. There's actually some advertising going on around now that, that's, that's dancing around this issue, but again, it's not, uh, it's not out there in the open. Today we're going to reveal it to you, and it's going to be exciting what you can create. So with the information you're going to get today, you can create the best body of your whole life. I am currently 46 years old, and no doubt in the best body of my life. You can create the best body of your life with six-pack abs. You can do it in six months. You don't have to exercise any more than five hours a week, and you do not have to starve yourself. Here's a quick example of what I've been able to do for myself. Isn't that fascinating? At age 39, I was 185 pounds, 19% body fat. At age 44, 205 and 9% body fat. I'm now about 207 and 8% body fat at age 46 and get better by the month. So, are you ready to feel unstoppable? Are you craving vitality? Do you know what it like, feels like to thrive? You probably do, but it's been a couple decades. I want to show you how you can feel vigorous and alive and truly unstoppable. Remember that Reebok uh, slogan that used to be on shirts back when we were kids? Uh, yeah, I like that. That's who I am. That's who, I, that's, who I'm, that's who I'm being. That's who I want to show you how to be. So what I'm offering for you, what I'm offering is for you if you care. Here's the deal. You, you care or you wouldn't be watching this. I mean, you, you've been working out. You've been eating right. You've been reading the books. You've been hiring a physical trainer. You've been doing whatever you can to do to try and get fit. And yet here you are still frustrated. Um, you can't see your abs. Your energy isn't what it's supposed to be. Your libido is less than fabulous. You feel sluggish in the morning. Sometimes all day you feel tired. You're just not there. So what I'm offering for you is for you because you care. You care about your body. You want, you want something better, and you just don't know how to get there. And uh, most importantly, you're finally truly serious about doing whatever it takes to have an epic life and a fabulous body and stand up and walking in your own power. So during the next 30 minutes or so, I'm going to show you how to create, uh, show you the exact roadmap to show you what, where you got to go to show you how to get there. You're going to know exactly what you need to do. Does that sound exciting? Well, it is. So let's do it. Today, you're going to get a clear understanding of why what you're doing currently isn't working and what to do to correct it. And even more important than that, how to sustain it so that it's not a flash in the pan, but you're, you're awesome now and in one year and in five years and in 10 years and in 30 years. 
You just keep getting better. Here's the problem. After age 30, you're fighting against nature. You're fighting against nature because genetically, we are programmed to reproduce. We evolved, our genes evolved to propagate themselves, not to create longevity and thriving. So once you get to uh, your reproductive peak, you start dying. You feel it. You know what I'm talking about. Fact is, your genetics are not designed for years and years of thriving. So everyone, if you're past the age of, say, 25 or 30, you're on this natural uh, downward slide. Uh, ultimately, the problem is you're normal. Normal. Who wants to be normal, right? I've never aspired to be normal. And if you're with me on this webinar, I'm suspecting you're with me. You don't really care about normal either. You want to be awesome. So here, this is a critical point to understand. Normal or natural is not the same thing as healthy or optimal. Unless you're 16, maybe. Not the same. So uh, get that in your head. We're going to come back to that in a little more. Oh, this is just kind of a funny thing I put in here. When I was, uh, when I was in high school, uh, there was a guy that had a boat on the lake out there in Tuttle Creek Lake in Man uh, near Manhattan, Kansas, and uh, had this slogan, you're much too young to feel this damn old on the back of it. And uh, the guy had written a song that Garth Brooks made into a big hit and uh, had it on the back of his boat. I was a teenager back then, so it didn't mean much to me. But uh, since then, I've been able to resonate with this uh, slogan, and, uh, and I'm much too young, and I don't feel old anymore. Not at all. You don't have to either. So who wants to be a normal 40-year-old 40 or 40 something? Uh, here's kind of a funny little story uh, about what's typical. I'm sure you can resonate with some of this. So you wake up in the morning, your alarm goes off, and you feel like you've barely been in bed for a couple hours. You got a pain in your neck, you got a stiff neck, your knee hurts. You got a, you remember when your dad was, you remember when you were a kid and your dad or your grandpa got out of a chair and took five or ten steps before he could stand up straight, and here you are doing the same thing, and you're thinking, what in the world happened to me? You get up and you get in the bathroom, you sit down to pee because you're too dang tired to stand up long enough for your bladder to drain, which is draining way too slow now than it used to. This morning you fill up, you, got to, you wake up, you got to chill, you're feeling chilly, even though yesterday you woke up all sweaty. You're thinking, what in the world is going on with me? And you can't even remember the last time you had sex that was really awesome, fulfilling, and relational. You can't find your car keys. You're so frustrated that you keep forgetting stuff. And there's this nagging thought in the back of your mind that, what am I forgetting on my way out the door this morning? Hmm. So what's the cost of your misinformation? Who wants to look like Richard Simmons, right? <laughs> Not me. The cost of, of wrong thinking is that you get to stay normal. And if you're like me, you don't want nothing to do with normal. You've been diligently working out. You're not getting the results you want. You work harder. You get fatter anyway. You've tried lots of different uh, exercise programs, hired different trainers, tried different diets. And what it feels like is you're pouring gasoline on a pile of wet wood. You ever try that? Try to get a fire started and the wood's wet. You put gasoline on it, flares up for a few seconds, the gasoline's gone, the wood's still ain't on fire. That's what happens when you're doing all the right stuff and your internal environment is not right. We're going to talk about that here momentarily. The trouble is your ignorance is actually accelerating your natural aging process. I, I mean that, accelerating it. You're working hard uh, to work out in the gym and eat right. Um, in many cases, it's actually making things worse, not better. So what it comes down to is having a misunderstanding, thinking wrongly, is keeping you out of the best body. And I don't care if you're 45 or 50, you can, with what we're teaching today, you can have a better body, better vitality than you ever had, even at age 25. So you may be thinking to yourself, if I could just get myself to eat right, exercise regularly, cut out the extra work hours, decrease the stress, get my wife to exercise with me every day, et cetera, et cetera, I'd feel better. And I'm saying, not bloody likely. Those are all external fixes that aren't going to work.
Your mindset's killing you. It's keeping you stuck. You're spending time, money, and energy on something that does not work. And you know it. You feel it. Like we said, if you're over 30, internally, what's going on inside your body, your internal trigger system, your, your hormones, your, your biomarkers, your various uh, peptides and signalers internally, they're already failing you. So doing stuff externally is not going to work until you get the internal environment right, right. But when you correct what's failing you inside your body, here's what happens. You feel powerful. You feel awesome during a workout. You see your body transforming. Man, was it exciting for me when I first figured this out. That transformation I showed you earlier occurred in about six months, even though I showed you like a five or six year uh, before and after. But the actual transformation only took about six months. And man, was that exciting to just see, see my body come back to better than it ever been. You know, when I go to the gym, I get excited. I'm going to descend on the gym. I'm not dragging my butt in there. I'm going in there to, to make it happen, to kill it. Man, that feels good. You really will expand. You'll sizzle. There's this, there's this, there's this zeal that returns. There's this, this wake of, of influence and, um, and attraction that, that follows you. You can't see it, but you can feel it. When you walk, when you walk into the gym, when you're walking into the nightclub, when you're, when you're walking down the street, when you're showing up at work, when you walk in, there's this, this unseen but strongly felt confidence and presence that, that commands attention. And... Um, when you get all this dialed in, this is what happens. It, is, it feels so awesome. So, so why listen to me? Well, uh, what do I know, right? Here's the deal. I've got a comprehensive uh, you know, fund of knowledge. I've been, uh, I've been practicing family medicine and emergency medicine for two decades. And those two fields of medicine are the broadest in, in, the whole, uh, in all of medicine. So I have a, a huge fund of knowledge being able to handle anything and everything that walks in the ER. Secondly, for the last seven years, I've been practicing anti-aging medicine. And this is my true passion. My true passion is the art and science of anti-aging for myself and for my clientele. And I live it. Here, here again is my, uh, one of my before and afters I was going to show you. Uh, again, that, uh, I think that, that tells the story. Um, gained 20 pounds while losing 9% body fat. You can do that and more. So I've done it for myself. I'm continuing to do my, doing it for myself. I'm, this year my goal is to get another um, 10 plus pounds of muscle and do my first uh, actual bodybuilding show. I've done it for other people too. Here's one of my, uh, one of my patients who lost 60 pounds in just over, uh, just over three months. Uh, look at the transformation. Look at his face. It's not just that he lost his gut. Uh, he's younger. And actually, if you're curious, I can show you a video on YouTube that I've got a testimony from him uh, talking about how much younger he feels and how it drastically changed his life in so many ways. So I told you I would show you how to uh, create the best body that you've ever had, even if you're 40 or 50 or years older or older. And you can do it with uh, less, than six, uh, less than five hours a week. It doesn't take tons and tons of exercise to do this. And you can also eat food you enjoy. So remember we told you this is uh, the goal. So let's get, get right to what, uh, what it takes. First of all, let me just paint you a bit of a picture here. So um, I've done this a bit already for you, but imagine it's a year from now, and um, imagine you've, uh, you've lost, say, 30 pounds of fat. You've gained about 15 uh, 20 pounds of muscle, your body fat's running right around 10, 12%. You can see your abs for the first time in decades. You wake up in the morning with a sense of vigor and fire. You get excited to get up and, and go do what you do. Uh, at work, you just command more power. If you're in sales, you find that, that, that you don't have to work as hard. The, the sales get attracted to you. Um, with your wife or, or with your girlfriend or with uh, women in general, if you're not married, you find that there's this ease that you have now where there you know there's this attraction uh, and it's not because your body you know certainly that's a foundation but it's because of the confidence that's the way you walk it's the way you hold yourself because you're so thrilled with who you are that's where we're going and if that excites you 
Let's go there together. So let's talk about, about the details of what it takes to get the internal environment correct so it's going to work. So molecular triggering, hormones, and other internal signals. Our cells of our body, of which there are trillions, are constantly dying and being replaced with fresh cells. Um, here's an illustration. Think of a, think of a, a, a like the wall of, eh, the wall of China is not the best example, uh, but, a, but a long brick wall. And um, there's a group of masons that's building the wall. I'm sorry, the wall's been there for a long time. There's a group of masons that's removing some of the old cracked bricks. And right behind them is another group of masons that puts new bricks in. Well, this is like our body. The trouble is that after age about 30, the masons that are removing the bad bricks are outrunning the masons that are replacing the bad bricks with fresh bricks. And so your wall is being slowly deconstructed. It's falling apart faster than it's being rebuilt. We can change that because our hormones influence everything. Whenever I see a guy with depression, before I think about Prozac, before I think about sending the counselor, I'm going to check his testosterone level. Um, immune function. Your hormones affect your immune function. Your immune function is critical. In, you know, cancer, for example. Every single cancer is because of a failing of your immune system. In fact, our bodies have mutations every single day that could turn into cancers. But our immune system is going around scouring and looking for problems and removing them before they become a problem. So when, you, when someone gets a cancer that becomes a tumor that becomes a problem, it's because their immune system missed, missed it when it was one or two or three cells or a tiny little cluster when it could have been easily fixed. Your hormones influence how you heal, influence um, how you sleep, your drives, your motivations, you know, obviously sex drive and drive to, to perform and work and get out and have fun, you know, just the, just the drive to have fun. How many of you find that, you know, you're kind of apathetic, you know, what used to thrill you, you just, you just don't have much fire for it anymore. You know, maybe you used to love to golf and now it almost feels like work to get out there and do it. Or maybe you used to, maybe you used to really love to, you know, to work on your um, work on your hot rod, and now that car sat out there for two years, and you haven't touched it. I don't know, but all those things are influenced by hormones. You know, also intelligence. You know, just your, the way you think is is related to what's going on inside your body. There's some fascinating studies on hormone optimization and how it affects intelligence, and it has a, a very positive effect when you get that optimized. You're able to problem solve, make decisions, to be sharp. Every imaginal disease process, it's all related to what's going on inside your body, related to hormones and other signalers. Let's go through some, uh, clear up some myths about health and fitness. I've uh, put together five here that I think are salient. So we'll just go through them real quickly and then we'll go through them one to one. So myth number one, exercise is the key to health. That's false. Myth number two, you are what you eat. That's false. Myth number three, Getting old means getting fragile, fat and sloppy. Doesn't have to be. Myth number four, it's the stress that's killing me. Again, I beg to differ. Myth number five, optimizing your hormones equals a lifetime of dependence. This is a big one. Some of you may, uh, may be really big on this, and some people really may not even know what I'm talking about, but we'll get to that here voluntarily. So let's go through the myths one at a time. Exercise is the key to health. The truth is, exercise can actually accelerate aging. The truth is, it's what happens after exercise inside your body that can make you strong and healthy, if it's working correctly. And the truth is, it's your body ability to respond and adapt to exercise that is what heals you. And after age 30, it's decreasing fast. It's decreasing fast. So the trouble is, when you, when you go into CrossFit, for example, and you, and you kill a hard workout, if you are not internally optimal with hormones and other signaling factors, that work, instead of producing a big boost of natural growth hormone and testosterone, that work in the gym produces mostly just a big boost of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, which makes you feel good short term, but long term, it tears your body up and you wear out and you get prone to injury and your muscles don't grow and you get tired. And it's not because you did a poor workout. It's not because your motivation wasn't good enough. It's because internally your body wasn't prepared to, prepare, to uh, respond to the exercise the way it's supposed to. The frustration of believing this myth, like we said, you wake up early, you get to the gym, you, you, you work your body, you're, you're willing it to strengthen. You, you're doing the work. You push through the pain. No pain, no gain, right? You put expensive nutritional supplements in your body. You're feeding your body the jet fuel it needs. 
Fact is, you're actually wasting your time and accelerating your aging because internally, your body is not able to process that nutrition efficiently and it's not able to respond to exercise and heal itself. Myth two, you are what you eat. Well, the truth is you're not what you eat. You're only as good as what you can absorb and, and use. You're only good as what your body can, can actually put to use. And the, and the other truth is you cannot eat a perfect toxin-free diet in today's environment. It is absolutely impossible. You can buy food that's organic or grass-fed beef or stuff that's not had any pesticides or fertilizers used, but the farmer that's growing that stuff a mile down the road or 10 miles down the road, there's another farmer that is using that stuff. And cross-pollination happens and wind happens. And so there's no, in our environment, you can't, breathe the, you can't breathe the breath of air anywhere on this planet that's totally pure. There's pollutants everywhere. Kind of funny, my dad used to joke about back when, um, back when you could smoke in restaurants, I can remember dad saying, because he didn't smoke and none of us, you know, he didn't like smoke. I remember him saying that the, most, the no smoking section of a restaurant is like the no peeing section of a swimming pool. Same thing with our planet. Uh, you know, the organic, uh, the organic field in our planet is like the, uh, the no peeing section of the swimming pool. It's just, there's no such thing as truly toxin-free diet. Myth number three, getting old means getting fragile. Well, it doesn't have to be. Getting fragile really is a direct result of diminishing level of healthy hormones. It's not the getting old, it's the hormone. It's, it's, it's that, it's what's going on inside. Getting old is a result of rising levels of inflammatory factors and stress hormones, while at the same time the healthy hormones are decreasing. That's the way your body does it. It, it loses its ability to make what's really healthy, so it starts making alternative hormones in higher amounts. It's kind of like running an afterburner in a fighter jet. You know, it, it gets you through the gets you out of the dogfight short term, but if you use it all the time, you'll melt down your engine. That's what's happening. But the truth is, it is possible to get to age well without feeling old. And the truth is, the absolute truth is, it is possible to thrive all the way to your sudden death. Here's a nice illustration of that. I call it squaring the curve. So just look at that red line, for example. That might be a normal what you consider a normal lifespan. So you hit your peak of vitality at age 21 or thereabouts and your vitality slowly decreases and you hit the disability zone somewhere around age 70 or 80 and then you finally die at age 90, say, for example. Well, what we're teaching here is those little black dotted lines, you can move your curve up towards that green dotted line, which is to stay at that optimal health. And the earlier you start, the easier it is. It's easier to get yourself up on that green line if you start when you're 30 or 40, that is, when you start when you're 70. But the fact is, it's really never too, too late to start. Uh, and wherever you are now, that's, that's the, the place to start from. But again, my goal for myself and for my clientele is to do exactly that, help you square that curve so you go out with your boots on. So the fourth myth, stress is killing me. The problem isn't the stress. It's the problem is your body's decreasing ability to adapt, evolve, and heal itself. Uh, there's an interesting, um, interesting illustration I like to use here. Think about a tree. You know, let's say a, in a mall in Florida, there's a tropical tree growing in the mall indoors. And the tree's beautiful and it looks great, but it's got no stress. There's no wind. It gets exactly as much water as it needs. And they've got it placed in a place, you know, in a, in a, where it's getting exactly the right amount of sun and light and stuff. And that tree will thrive to some degree inside that mall. But if you take that same tree and put it outdoors, it's going to shrivel up because it's not used to handling wind or various variations of temperature or or rains and stuff. However, you take a, a, a twin of that tree, you know, as an infant, put it outside and let it grow out, grow outside in the natural environment. Well, it grows a lot thicker, stronger trunk, and it can handle the winds and it can thrive. So, you know, the stress the stress of growing outdoors is not what's the problem. Um, and the problem the stress actually makes you stronger. Now, there is such thing as a stress that that is overwhelming. So, you know, a tornado or a hurricane can kill any tree, no matter how strong it is. So there's some degree, I suppose, stress can kill you. But the most of the stress we deal with is not the problem. It's the ability, it's our body's ability to adapt, evolve, and heal itself. That's the problem. And that, again, that relates to what's going on inside of your body. And myth number five, hormone optimization is the same thing as lifetime dependence on steroids or growth hormone. 
So, you know, some of you may not have this problem or this, this, uh, this myth in your mind, but, I, but, but because I've had so many people ask this question, I just uh, wanted to include it here in this uh, presentation. And it is absolutely a myth. The fact is, hormone optimization is all about restoration to when you were at your best in your young 20s. It's not about jacking your hormones so you can hit home runs or so you can be Mr. Olympia. It's about optimizing your body back to where it was when it was at its reproductive peak. And the fact is, not optimizing your hormones will lead to dependence. In fact, you're already dependent on your hormones. You're just suffering withdrawals. You aren't making enough of them anymore. Not optimizing your hormones will absolutely lead to dependence. Dependence on prescriptions, pain medicine, blood pressure medicine, statin drugs for your cholesterol. Um, about 50, not about, exactly, um, of all the people in the United States born in 2006, 50% will at some time in their life develop type 2 diabetes. That's lifestyle-based. 99% of those people don't need to develop diabetes if they, eat, if they uh, take care of themselves. But again, hormones have a huge influence here. Testosterone, for example, has a huge effect on sensitizing your body to insulin. And, um, all, and cortisol, of course, does the opposite on and on. Um, we won't go through the details, but not optimizing your hormones will lead to dependence. In some of you, it'll lead to dependence on insulin. How about that? You want to be dependent on Viagra? How about antidepressants? Stimulant drugs, coffee, Red Bull. How about written reminders? You know, because as you age, uh, as you age so-called naturally and your, your, your brain function decreases, now you can't remember stuff correctly anymore. Yep, optimizing hormones can help that too. How about dependence on a failing healthcare system? Do you think the healthcare system we're living in is optimal? Do you think you want to be dependent on... Um, American healthcare in 10 or 20 or 30 years? I don't. How about being dependent on your kids because you can't take care of yourself or you can't earn your own money anymore because you get so ailed? What about eventually being dependent on canes or walkers or wheelchairs or worse? Yeah. Optimizing your hormones is not about becoming dependent on hormones. Not optimizing hormones is about becoming dependent on everything else. And like I said, you're already dependent on your hormones anyway. You're just not making enough of them. So not correcting your failing hormones will increase your risk of every disease you can imagine. Absolutely will increase your risk of cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, arthritis, and even Alzheimer's. There's some good data out there that optimizing testosterone levels in women, for example, will cut Alzheimer's in half, risk of Alzheimer's in half. And what in the world is that worth? That's invaluable. That's invaluable. And just to address the myth one bit more, for example, there's lots of hormones we need to talk about uh, when we, you know, when we get into specifics. But just taking testosterone, for example, um, if when done correctly in the right amounts, in frequent enough doses, and combined with the right other hormones such as HCG, you don't become, you know, some people say, well, if I take a testosterone supplement, a cream or a shot or a pill or whatever, then I'll, I'll never be able to get off of it. And the fact is, once you get on it and it's optimized correctly, you won't ever want to get off of it. But if it's done correctly and you supplement it with additional uh, natural means to maintain your own natural production at what it is now, then whenever you stop the, the, the optimization program, you'll go back to where you were instead of to something less. Um, that's a brief explanation, but I'm just telling you it's possible. Uh, so, do you want to stay normal? I don't. Are you content with the eventual dependence, or are you ready to restore your body to its optimal function so you can actually thrive? You do have a choice. You don't have to feel sick and tired. And you can feel better than you ever have, and you can get there within the next 12 months. Now, earlier on, I said six months to your best body, and I, I meant that. But um, for people that work with me, I, I expect a 12-month commitment because even though we can make a major transformation within six months, you need to live in that body and master it for a full 12 months or longer before you really own it for life. And that's what matters. I don't want you to get a quick fix that, that just goes back to where it was. You don't have to age gracefully. You just, you don't have to. I, I, I'm not going to. You can actually take back 20 years. If you're 45 now, you bet I can show you how to feel better than you did when you were 25. And you can go out with your boots on. 
but you don't have to go out in a rocking chair. Here's your solution. Number one, know what's going on inside your body. Know what's going on with your hormones and all the other various factors that are important. You got to assess your hormone levels and all the other biomarkers. You need to understand what your current body composition is because just your weight isn't that important. It matters what, uh, what percentage of your body's muscle, bone, and fat. You need to take various measurements of um, you know, everything from height to waist to, to biceps to, to chest. Um, we want to measure all that so we know where we're starting. And this is something I'm not going to go into in detail, but um, the, uh, we're learning a lot more about telomeres now. Telomeres are the little caps on the end of your chromosomes that um, every time your, your cells reproduce, those telomeres tend to shorten just a little bit. And when those telomeres get critically short, uh, it's almost like the uh, little cap on the end of your shoelace. When that thing falls off, the shoelace frays. The same thing happens with your chromosomes. And when those get too short, the chromosome frays, and then um, that cell dies. Well, what we're learning now is there are ways through various um, nutritional uh, means. And there's some drugs in the pipeline too, but there's, I don't think we're going to need the drugs because there's some uh, nutritional supplemental things that are coming through that are beautiful that you can, uh, you can actually stop the shortening of your telomeres and maybe even lengthen them. Pretty exciting stuff. So much more on the horizon that uh, I don't have time to go through in here. But suffice it to stay, uh, this is an exciting time to be alive, folks. So step two, you need to, once you understand what your hormones and once you've measured all those levels, um, then you need to optimize them. You need to restore your hormones back to where they were when you were, um, when you were youthful and, and feeling great. And this will require a prescription from a doctor. And it's got to be someone that knows that really knows what's going on. This is not, it's not a one size fits nobody single hormone fix. You know, I see these so-called low T centers in different, different places, places where they can give you pellets and stuff, and they just focus on one or two hormones, and they do help people feel better. But I'm not talking about a quick fix. I'm talking about optimizing your body and learning how to thrive and how to feel better at 45 than you did at 25, and, and better at 55 than you did at 45. You need to optimize your body's hormone symphony. Let's think of testosterone as like the, um, like the trumpet player in your, in your symphony. Uh, you can't have one awesome trumpet player. Um, if, you're, if your oboe player is out of tune or, or your drummer can't stay in time, you still got a lousy symphony. It, it, it's, a, it's a big picture. You got to you put the whole thing together. And again, understand that optimal is not the same as normal. People say, well, I want to be natural. Uh, well, natural and normal are the same thing. And... Those do not equal optimal. Number three, you got to eat and exercise deliberately. I told you earlier on that exercise and diet are not the key to health, and that's absolutely true. However, once your internal environment is optimized, now you can respond to exercise and diet. And uh, that's, when, that's when it really gets exciting. And also, you know, the mistake most people make is either you're a fat slob and you never do anything for your body and you're chronically undertrained, or... Um, if you work out, you tend to overtrain. You know, the, uh, Lee Haney was a bodybuilder um, that was making uh, Mr. Olympia championships multiple times when I was in college. And as he got a little bit older, he started using the term stimulate, not annihilate. You don't go in there to annihilate the muscle. You stimulate it to grow. And that's what I'm teaching. Now that your body is optimized, it'll process your calories properly. You can shed the fat while gaining muscle. And now your body knows how to detox. So when I'm talking about detox, I'm not talking about doing a you know 10-day juice fast or you know alkaline lemon water. All those those things have their places. I'm talking about when your body is is operating optimally, you still of course should eat as clean a diet as you can. But now your body has the ability to, to daily detox itself. Step four: uh, once you got things basically in place, it's time to measure, monitor, and adapt. You need to measure and adjust according to your unique body's response. Your hormone optimization plan needs to be adjusted from time to time because you're unique. Uh, again, there's not just a cookie cutter thing that's going to work. And your body's response to exercise and nutrition needs to be constantly monitored. It's not like you can just go read the next exercise book or fitness book and get, a, get great results like the guy that wrote the book was because you're not the guy that wrote the book and his body responded to, to that. But you're a different body. And so, you know, that's what we do. We go through it and find out what uniquely works awesome for you. Again, your exercise plan needs to evolve to fit your unique physiology. How you eat needs to evolve to fit your unique and improving body. It's, um, 
it's like getting tailored clothes. You can go buy stuff off the rack and it can be decent, but if you want to look super sharp, you got to get it tailored. So now you know why, now you understand, just to review the myths again, you understand why exercise is not the key to health, it's your hormones. You understand, understand why eating healthier or cleaner or less hasn't been working for you. It's because internally your body isn't able to process that stuff correctly. You understand why uh, getting older doesn't have to mean getting old. It's not how many years you live that's a problem, it's your internal environment. And you understand now that stress isn't the problem. Again, it's your failing internal environment that can't manage things correctly. And importantly, you understand that hormone optimization leads to independence, not dependence. You're already dependent. This leads you to independence and true health and thriving. So as I promised, I've now taught you how you can, uh, this year, create a healthy, vibrant, ripped, awesome body while working out less than five hours a week and avoiding injuries. I can show you how your body can burn fat while you can still enjoy your food, how you can own your own body. And this is what's really critical. When I used to do a lot of diabetes care, you know, I would tell a diabetic, I can teach you everything you need to know about insulin and blood sugar and, and all the things you got to do to manage yourself. But if you're, if, if you're coming to me as a diabetic and you want me to make your diabetes to, to fix it and, and to help your blood sugar get under control, it's not going to happen. you got to own it. You have to understand um, when you sleep an extra hour at night or when you wake up in the morning to a, a screaming kid or when you have to get, go to work an hour early because something happened at work, whatever, you need to over time learn how, to, how those various situations will affect your insulin levels. Uh, I'm sorry, your blood sugar levels and how much insulin you need to take to, to, uh, to deal with that. You need to know when you're going to exercise, how that's going to affect your, um, your sugar. And you need to know how to adjust what you eat and how much insulin you take and how much you exercise. Same thing with, with anti-aging is I can teach you everything you need to know, but ultimately you have to own it and you have to learn what your unique body does. And that's why, you know, that's why I love mentoring people and teaching them how to, to become awesome uh, you know, for themselves. So now it's your turn. What are you going to do? You can keep driving your tired old VW Beetle. I'm talking about your body here. I'm talking about your life. Hmm. Or are you ready to move over into a sleek Corvette? That's pretty easy, right? Pretty easy question. So now with your, new, uh, with your, with your understanding of anti-aging, you can find the right doctor, and this is critical. You can go find a dietitian to help you sort out um, how to eat correctly. And you can find a, a professional a trainer who sees the big picture. The trouble is, most doctors don't understand this. And even the ones that do, most of them do not do a comprehensive, individualized job of fixing it. Hiring a fitness trainer without restoring your hormonal balance is at best moderately helpful and at worst downright damaging because they're going to work you hard and end up putting you in stress overload and cortisol uh, overload and uh, making you worse. And a dietitian, you know, dietitians certainly provide great value, but they can only teach you how to optimize your food intake. They can't make your body internally absorb it and, um, and utilize it correctly. That's something that has to happen from the inside out. And again, it's largely related to uh, internal hormonal balance. So you can spend time and money trying to track down the right people to know their stuff, or you can collapse time. All right, so how can I help? Well, we need to talk. When I first talk with a potential new client, uh, the first thing we do is, is spend considerable time doing a comprehensive assessment of your total health in every area of your life, not just physical, but a comprehensive assessment. And that's a critical first step. And during that time, we create a, an in, initial plan, a very individualized, unique plan that will get you the, the clarity you need and to facilitate you know, exactly what needs to happen for the first at least three months until we reassess, but it's, it's an invaluable uh, first step. This single conversation will create for you all the clarity you need to remove any confusion you still have, to answer any questions, and to get you epic results. We won't spend more than an hour doing it, and you'll know exactly what you need to do to move forward in your unique situation. That's why it's an, uh, it's an individual call on the phone with me. It's not a go to this you know, website and read this document and see if you want to do it. It's not that. It's very individualized. And when I was um, in private practice, people would come into my office 
uh, they would spend up to $2,000 for that first two-hour consultation, which we did in person. Now, this is uh, on the phone, a little bit different, but the same, uh, very same information and value is going to be uh, gleaned. Uh, the physical part of the examination is, you know, less than 10% of, of what I need to learn. So, and I'm offering this for free, not for everybody, but I'm not going to charge you for this one, first one. Uh, but And if you qualify, if you're one of the few people that get the chance to do this, to get on the phone with me and, and do this consultation, by all means, do it. Uh, the, it's invaluable. It can literally save you a lifetime of pain and thousands of dollars and countless hours and days of wasted time. So absolutely take the opportunity. And what happens if you don't seize the opportunity? Nothing's going to change. You know because you've tried it. People that don't do this uh, will... You keep getting the same results they're getting or not getting not getting in, there in that case. Uh, wishing you're getting different results and not knowing how. Spending countless thousands of dollars um, trying to find results that aren't, aren't there. Countless hours in the gym. They're wasted, resulting in nothing but injuries and uh, still staying stuck. And the emotional turmoil and relational turmoil that, um, that results from being stuck is, well, it's just um, the cost of not resolving your frustration in this area is beyond ridiculous you might as well just do it of course there's always a catch right because i'm not going to do this for everybody um not that i don't want to but uh, I've, I've done my time doing that you know working in the er 12-hour shifts 24-hour shifts even longer you see everybody that comes in the door in fact there's signs posted up there that says even if you can't afford our services you're still entitled to them um i've done my time there i've served I've appreciated all those people, but uh, I'm in a different venue now. So I only want to work with people who want epic results and are willing to do the work and get it done. That's what I demand of myself, and that's what I demand of my clientele. So if that's you, if you're the one that's looking for me, if this describes you, you're absolutely committed, you're action-oriented, you're ready to take action and do the work, you're open to learning something new, something different, something that seems to be contradictory to what you've already learned. You are done with excuses. You're done with victim stories. You're done You're done uh, with not getting results. You're not ready. F you're not looking for a magic pill anymore. You understand it just takes work. But more importantly, it takes, it takes expertise. I've got what you're looking for. And I am so excited to do it with you. So... If you're done working hard and not getting results, if you're done looking for that magic pill, fill in the application and let's see what we can work out. Uh, as of now on my website, there's a heck yeah, I'm in link that will take you to the application. Click on that. Um, you know, this will probably change in the link. Uh, I may say something different, but regardless, find that link, click on it, fill in the application. Uh, my assistant will review all the applications and then she'll submit the most uh, qualified ones to me. And after I review them, then uh, then if you qualify, she'll she'll call you and we'll set up a phone call. Uh, I call her Pepper. Her real name's Kayla. But um, I, I kind of like the Iron Man movie and, you know, he's he's the genius that, uh, that can do all this stuff. But without Pepper, he'd be kind of worthless, wouldn't he? Well, I'm kind of the same way. She really helps me get stuff done. So anyway, she will uh, schedule the call and then we'll get on the phone and, uh, and, and we'll do the, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do the assessment. And if we are fit, if we are fit, um, and by the time we get the phone call, you'll be pretty well screened, so it's likely that that, that opportunity will be there. Um, then I am excited to committing to taking you all the way, to giving you everything you need to take the right steps to create the epic body and life that you've been dreaming about. So, let's go. Do it now. Apply for the diagnostic session by uh, using this web address right here, or there's a link on the edge there that you can use fill in that uh, application, give it your best, give it your best, um, we'll review it carefully, and uh, hopefully we'll be contacting you. Um, the space is limited, I'm not, absolutely not going to be talking to everybody that applies, uh, but if you're the right one, we'll find each other and we'll make it happen, so time to be unstoppable. <laughs>